Daily Spice out there in your universe. I'm on 456 and welcome back to Spice Game Limited. Um or game of Fakun, whatever you want to call the series. I don't give a crap. Um in the last episode we just dominated the gaming market gaming industry and it made some really good games. Let's hope we make more and maybe even get to the next level. So click to continue and we're back. The dwarf car is still selling it's in the 28, it's rank 28. Um, debating what we should do. Um, let's, let's get marketing. Ooh, I don't, ooh, which one do we want? Multiplayer. Okay, we're not making any more money. So, yeah. Let's hope on this one. So let's hope we can pull through again. We are in year six. One seven. For a fact that it's probably gonna yep. So this will be the dwarf engine engine arc three. Okay, we're gonna create this engine and then we're gonna make a game with it. It's gonna be the first one to give a game we've ever made. And I think well, how we're gonna make it Ooh. What are we gonna do for it? Ooh, I just had an idea. Let's make it yeah. Smash um let's, let's make a spin-off of Super Smash Brothers. Except dwarves and gnomes. <laughs> yeah dwarves and gnomes. Wait, do I have fighting research though? Oh, okay, that'll have to be for later time. I guess we can make it a racing game. Everybody loves racing games, right? Everybody does. And, ooh, yeah. I just might be able to do this. Okay, develop new game. It will be... Yeah, see, we don't have any... Oh, actually, a military... Uh, action game... For mature audiences on the PC for the yeah I actually did do that right Dwarf Engine Mark 3 and it shall be called um, Wartime Country Con Country because man, I don't know we need 3D graphics Let's do this. Rebooting the wartime series again. We can multiplayer. Maybe have a linear story, I guess. And why the heck not? Well, you never really had not seen any story in much of these games except for like all the medieval ones, so why not? Um, better AI? Yes. Yeah, that sounds about right. Let's hope this game actually does good. Hey, maybe it'll. No, it's, never mind. I was gonna say maybe it'll we'll get like we'll get into the millions and we'll be able to go on to the next level. Yeah. Considering how long it took me us to make that engine, just for like one added feature. Yeah, I don't think we we're gonna get there. I think this looks about right. And hopefully we have a good balance of t science and tech, or design and tech, I should say. Come on, just give me the good stuff. Just brush away. Boom, we're done. Your record. No. Oh, I think this is the first time we used 3D graphics. Oh, I see tens. I see tens. Eight. Good, 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 good. Six, could have been more. Eh. Six, I like it. And eight. Military and action is a great combination. Of course it is. And develop another game. Racing. Casual. Or the. Ooh. Go for the game link. Mark three. Everyone. Oh, Dwarf Cart Superstars, that's what it's gonna be. 
3D graphics all the way. Oh my god. Look at those sales already. It's a casual game, so we don't really need story. But we definitely want saving game and multiplayer. We're in the rank 15! We're in the top 20. Still in the top 20. Um, nah, turn on dialogue. Turn up AI. People like racing, the casual racing games, right? First, what was the game history before that? Astro Blitz. Okay, so it's been a while before, since we made a racing game. Good. Um, nah. Turn up the sounds, I guess, and world design. Crank it all the way up. And we'll have we have another game in the making already, and maybe it'll be even better than my previous dwarf cards I made. Hey, people might actually like it. That one's so solid. And eh, it can be better. Oh, what is it? What do you got? What do you got? Seven? Beautiful. Mm -hmm. I know it would be very enjoyable. Good games. Great! Ooh. Eight. Very good. Even better results. Oh, man. Look at all that. Do have another game? Oh, me too. Yes, space action game. Actually. A space adventure game for youngsters. Actually, you know what? Young and it'd be a simulation on the game wing, but the simulation actually changes that to casual. Um, maybe not casual. Maybe, yeah, simulation sounds good actually. Astro. Don't ask why, it's just I can't think of anything, so it's the first thing coming to my mind. And we're already selling again. <laughs> we're still in the rank 8. Wow. Pretty good. Pretty good. We can turn down gameplay a bit and turn up engine. This is for the youngsters out there. Hmm. It seems that national sales for Dwarf Card Superstore have fallen way below expected numbers. The game received exciting reviews, but it seems that the chosen platform is popular with the target audience. Maybe, mm -hmm. Oh, Kavani. The play system. Okay, anyways, okay, so the event on us today is to cancel the project and set to develop a new concept with a different partner. Uber has it that the distribution deal, this did it. The Uber has it that the distribution deal with the companies that worked out was unfavorable to Nevento, handing over much of the control to Bonnie. This seems to be the end of the play system. Okay, knowing how this happened in real life, at least in my video game history, um, I would say that. They're gonna still make a play system. It's just gonna be under their under their specific code, I guess. Well, not code, but like their copyright, basically. So it'll probably be a new name, a new machine, I guess. Mm. Well, two months of TES will be taken off the market. We made we made some good games. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, any military games I should make for. Yeah, what? Which ones do we make for the. Okay. Dwarf Surgeon, Dwarf Cart, Triplet. Oh. We only made two games for it. But oh well! Yet another game. Go! Oh man, we'll be leveling up everything. Level 2. Have another game. World. Astro oh god. This has a show potential. Seven good game. Very good. And enjoyable. Okay, sweet. This is our one of our only youngster games, so. Ooh! Another game! 
Wii U oh wow We have, yeah, we're making enough money to the point where we can probably work on this. Oh, sweet. Okay, just researching this stuff. I think we'll, we might make a, what do we call it? Okay, open world. Um, I think we'll eventually make like an RPG engine, like like specifically for any of our medieval fantasy games and whatnot, so people can really have a gander or something. I don't know. I don't know. Branching story. Oh, we're running low on RP, so I think this will be the last thing we research. Oh crap! Yeah, it will be the last thing we research, and then we make another game. Pump out the games until we get into the millions. <laughs> until we get to the millions, we will keep on pumping out games. Actually, we'll be, oh. okay, let's try a mystery strategy game on the. Ooh, what do we want? Mm, same PC. Door Fringe Mark III. Who done it? <laughs> I don't know. Who done it? I I can't think of anything. <laughs> I, I'm having a really bad like memory like create creation block now. I can't think of any titles, good titles, anyways. Guess we can turn up gameplay engine there. Who done it? <laughs> it sounds like such a. It sounds like such a, like a game you find. Like in the south or something. Like nothing against like some people because I was raised in this. Like half my life I was raised in the south, but it sounds like like the uh, theme, like the title says like who done it. It's not like it should be something that should be like in the old west or something, or like the south or <laughs> just because of the way I did it. Like who done it? <laughs> who done? It? Oh lord. Oh, just keep on going. Oh yeah, that's not very good. I think we're dropping in standards, guys. Okay, we can do with one good, one pretty bad game, I guess. We can do that. We'll still get level. We'll still get level. So, proposition. Okay, this is for oh. Okay, we're going to transfer. Nope. I don't want to be that guy. Who done it? I've seen better. Yeah, I knew it. I knew we'd get bad ratings. Both a bit short. Had its moments. Yeah, I'm, I'm terrible at mystery games. Shows potential. Another game with fantasy RPG. On the dwarf enter mark three for the hmm. Hmm. PC. Oh yeah. Um. um. First of all, mature audiences. Uh, fantasy RPG for the game of oh, game link PC, and then the dwarf enter mark three. Urbling goblins. There we go. 3D graphics. Yeah. <laughs> Not one of our best games. This will be multiplayer. A good engine. RPG. Story and quest. There we go. Yet another RPG. I guess that's what we're, we're going to be known for. Um, dialogues we can increase a bit more AI, we can increase all the way. Um, I was fine, when I play RPGs, I want, like, characters to be, like, like, NPCs, 
uh, to be really lively, I guess. Not lively, just um, like smart. Like enemies in game, like Delta and stuff. Oh yeah. So, like, <laughs> I like their enemies because it feels like they're actually they're not just be rinsing and repeating enemies or something like that. They're just they're actually pulling through and. Actually, some of the enemies are kind of. You have a unique way to beat them. You can't. You don't just point click. Oh, the first. Okay. Oh baby. Oh baby. Oh man. Oh man. Eight. Hey, played it for days. Yep. Been playing all my games for days. Very good. Fantasy RPG is a great combination. Of course it is. And love it. A solid eight. Good. I think we're probably gonna hit the million soon. Another game. <laughs> Another game. Let's make a sports casual game on the game league again. Uh, football. Actually, headball. Headball. And just spell it wrong just because we can. Woo! Another game. <laughs> Wow, we're just pumping out games every, all day, every day, aren't we? Turn that down. Eh, good engine, I guess. We want to be multiplayer and save game uh, because it's, you know, it's a sports game. You want to be able to play against your friends and not just a whole bunch of computers that know all the secrets behind the game. <laughs> turn down that. I guess I can turn down AI. Level design is so far always been at the top. Not sure why. All about that. Okay. Just keep on doing. Oh, we're in the millions. 1.3 million. We made it, guys. We're in the millions. And we're probably gonna reach. We might have even reached two million with the amount of games are popping out every, all day, every day. Oh, congratulations! Yeah, congratulations! You have paid quite a name. Yeah. Made? Paid? What? Quite a name for yourself. And saved up a lot of capital. If you want to grow the company further, then moving to an office is the next step. I found the perfect office situated in a technology park. Would you like to move your company to the next level? Heck yeah, I would. Pay 150? Psh, nothing. Oh. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Okay, dear Spiny's Games Limited, we have followed your progress in recent years and would like to extend this formal invitation to participate in the biggest game convention known on the planet, Games Games Games, also known as G3. Well, doesn't that sound familiar? <laughs> Having your own company both at G3, you can gain a lot of fans and hype for your games and we thank our audience, we'd love to see you there. To you yearly with booth options, we'd love to see you at G3, the G3 community. Welcome to your new office. Now that you have a bigger office, you can also hire staff and forge a world-class development team to make even better games. This office, first of all, is amazing. I would love to work here. <laughs> I'm looking up here, up the top. <laughs> Look, characters, duck, rabbit, hedgehog is crossed out. That's awesome. Headball. Wait. Ooh. Good, we're getting good ratings for a sports game. Good, that's always good. Eight, they choose a good balance between, yep, we did, between technology and design. Nine, sports cash was a great combination. And, another game. <laughs> wow. Okay, that's, no. Medium booth. Hey oh, All the way up. To have another game. Let's make a hospital um, simulation game, I guess, for the gambling. Dwarf and Dwarf 3. Goblin. Go yeah, Goblin. I guess Surgeon. And what? We start into 1980s. Um. One nine eight eight. There we go. I guess that's should be mature audiences. It's, you know, surgery. It's surgery, so yeah. 
Make another game. And we're all the alpha melee. Hmm. What if? Increase the rank quest. Engine we want. Actually, no. Turn it down. Alright. There's nothing we can do. I oh, will be able to hire people. I'll do that in a sec, actually. Oh, this is G3. This is our little booth we got. Headmall. Our lead games. Oh, and this yeah, it has Goldman Search in 1988. That's awesome. Hype. You got some hype. And lots of people have visited it, actually. Actually, AI. Good. And we should be making good monies off of all of this. We should, anyways. I'm not, I'm not want to judge. Um, world design. We can. Eh. Guess you want. Oh my god, the hype. 50. Lord. Oh, sequels. Oh. Now we can make official sequels to games. Like my old wartime series. You can actually be like a whole bunch of sequels on sequels. Just like always. Okay, yeah, that's a good bounce. Oh, level 3. Reading graphics V2. Oh, that's not good. Oh, it's a, yeah, awesome. Okay. Okay, I think that's all we have for today, guys. So, if you, if you like the commentary and you do the channel, hit that like button. That like button. If you don't like the video, then hit the dislike button and comment how I can improve. And if you really like the video, um, subscribe and, and to all your friends. I've been Wally Spark 56, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace!